Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we follow Big West Audits, or as I like to call, thanks to Internet God, Big Wuss Audits, as he attempts to audit a police station only to turn into a giant snowflake at the end as he is arrested. Stick around until the very end and watch how much of a crybaby he is. So let's sit back, relax, and have a good laugh on Big Wes Audit, or Big Wuss Audit, whatever you want to call him. How's it going everyone? Today we're at Lake Township Police Department in Millbury, Ohio. Or Millbury, I'm not sure how you pronounce it really. But let's see how they respect our First Amendment rights to record in public, guys. We're here at the police station. This is my first time ever being in this area and I was actually driving by and I saw this army car outside. So that's why I actually decided to stop and film and make a video about the department. So this is Lakeview, Lakeview Police Department, guys. You got an army car right there. Let's go uh, check it out. They got a nice little park over here too with a, a big like pond. I don't know if this is this building is police too or that's part of the park, but. As you can see, it looks very open to the public. It just leads right in here from the park trail. Wow, that's awesome. It'll be my first time seeing an army uh, truck or car, whatever you guys call it, up close. Yeah, buddy, they're called Humvees, and they've been in the service with the military since 1983. Pretty much the workhorse of the motor pole. You know, if you're so impressed with Humvee, what you should do is you should go take your ASVAB, score high enough to join the military, get in the motor pool, and drive them around for a few years, and then you'll probably get tired of them. But no, you'll probably just want to be a frauditor for the rest of your life. No idea why they have this at a police station. It might be getting fixed or something. Wow. You guys don't know what the inside of an army truck looks like. There you go. Imagine getting pulled up on one of these guys and they pull you over. Could you imagine that's what it's like in the future? Like 50 years from now, the cops just drive around in these? Oh, yeah. You already complain enough as it is having to pay your taxes on the police departments. Now imagine having a fleet of Humvees as your primary police cruiser. Gas consumption for the police department would go through the roof. I don't think you'd want to pay that bill. Thing is thick. Respect for all the soldiers out there, guys, in different countries and, and places fighting for our freedom in America. I respect all the soldiers. I love all the soldiers that are out there fighting right now, guys. They're risking our lives for us in war and battle. Yeah, right. You respect the troops, sure. Well, this is the coolest vehicle we've seen yet, guys, so leave a like for that. 
for this army truck. Got an employee coming in. Don't mind me just taking picture, video, you know. Checking out this beautiful piece of property. This guy's illegally parked. Can I help you? No, are you a police officer? No. Okay, then no. I appreciate you videoing me right now. Can I get your name? No. You don't appreciate me video you? Yeah. Well, are you illegally parked right now? I think you should be more worried about that. Uh, are you a firefighter, sir? No, I'm dropping something off. All right, well, I'll be on my way. What's that badge there on your phone? Are you a police officer? Then that's none of your business. It's none of your, my business if you're a police officer or not. Can I ask why you're out here? You could ask, but I don't have to answer any questions. Who is he? He's an asshole, sir. I know that. What's his name? That is his name, sir. Asshole. Major asshole. You were telling me who you are. Maybe I could. Are you a police officer? I already told you I'm not. What's that thing on the back of your phone? Don't worry about it. Can you have somebody come outside to the vehicles where the EMS going? Uh, gentleman's out here videotaping me and questioning me. And you question me, bro. Now. All right, you have a great day, sir. That guy was a cop, that's a shame. You could honestly get back to work, man. I mean, I'm not doing anything wrong here. You can go about your business, buddy. I, I can't hear you. Could you come a little closer? You need to step away from our car. Why is that? Oh, I can't. He was up. He guys, my camera, my camera just died. Guys, these cops are crazy here. The this guy just pulled up with his emergency lights on, and this officer failed to identify herself 20 times. I had to delete two videos because my phone ran out of storage. I just restarted this video. You know, if you want to get audience sympathy and lie, you should at least do a believable number. But that's just my opinion. Please carry on. Hello, officer. Um, I've been here for about five minutes, and this officer has failed to identify herself. I asked her ten times. Can I get her name and badge number, please? How do you guys know I can read? Can I? Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass! Such a dumbass! You're an ass! As, if you're a police officer, are you supposed to provide your name and badge number if I ask you What's verbally? Your business? I can identify myself as a Lake Township police officer. I'd What's your name and badge number, sir? That's not an necessity. We're asking you Contrary to Can I get your name and badge number, please? I'm not going to give you that. You're not going to give me your, your name and badge number, Peacock. Can there I get you your name and badge oh, number? Now, she keeps asking me 10 different questions, I'm and she can't even tell me her name. Are. Well, I'm not going to tell ID. you who I am. You're in a back lot. You need my ID? Oh, too bad. You can't have it. No, he wouldn't. You can't have my ID. Now, I've went to 10 different police stations the past couple days, and you guys are harassing me right now. I'm allowed to be here. There's no signs right here when I walk through the park. When I walk through the park, there's no signs. So maybe you guys should get some put up hey, there. Let, can we talk to? Is no, right? you guys are being so very rude. one-way conversation? Identify yourself. How, you, How do I even know if you're a police officer? Right, can you I'm tell me your talking. badge number? I'm you didn't identify here. yourself. Your name's Peacock? How the heck does that mean anything? What's your badge number? Get a soup. Call your supervisor right now. I'm allowed to be here. I'm filming in public. I'm not answering none of your questions. I'll get back. Because you guys both got guns and I'm not armed. No, I'm not going anywhere. I'm here filming in public. I'm allowed to be here. And you had your emergency lights on. Why? There's not an emergency here. Yeah, I am a First Amendment. It's my right to be here and film in public. And you guys are harassing me right now. So what's uh, the problem? So you're right where I park my personal 
What's the problem? This guy, I, this guy's illegally you parked. Answer, I'll tell you the problem, but you don't want to. Well, you can't even identify yourself. You're just going by you're Peacock. Why are you screaming at me, man? You I scream at citizens. You because you can't hear me. There's actually a crime being committed right here. This you guy's not even parked in three parking what spots. Is that what you guys do at the police station? You park in three parking I, spots? Private property? Yeah, if I want. It's to. public property. I can come here and ask questions. I can come here and film the police just and ask. Like Walmart, it's a public service, but it's private property. Walmart owns the property. Lake Township owns this property. Yes, it's successful to the How public. How can I help you guys today? But it's not for you. Why are you keeping her up to me? Why you ask a question, you get an answer. Because there's no reason for you guys to be here. I'm being harassed. How can I help you, Officer Peacock? I'm harassed. I'm harassed right How can I, Officer Peacock and Clark? How can I help you guys today? I'm very harassed. Then you can go to the park. Go. I can be here at the police station. You can go to the park. What's your business? You don't have business. I just here. told you. you my business is I'm making a story about the police department. Okay, then make your story. I am. Why is this, she telling me to go to the park? Am I not allowed to be here right now? Because you're a little... You won't identify um, yourself. You have little been what? rude since the second I walked up to you. I've been rude? Ma'am, I asked you for your name and badge number five, ten times. You said, read it, read it, read it. We don't know who you are. Well, you're I told you already. Well, first of all, your camera apparently cut off at one point, and that's highly suspicious, so we don't know the whole story. Second of all, you have not identified who you are. You have only identified yourself as a journalist. That is not your identity. That is a title of employment. And lastly, you've been acting like an ass this whole time. They didn't start it, but you sure as hell did. And if you keep it up, they're going to end it for you. And that should be fun to watch. So let's carry on with it. Of our cars. I, no, wait, I looked in one car. No. I watched you do it and even asked you after and, you told you not okay, to Okay, I actually it. did see the signs when I walked past before so I walked through the park the and signs. came in. Yeah, and it says police vehicle parking only. It says no, it doesn't say anything about no trespassing. You can't be here in the public. I'm just here walking on this. You keep changing your story, dude. First you said you didn't see it. Then you tell her you did. And since the sign apparently said authorized vehicles only, that basically means you are not allowed in there, and that's why they're coming after you right now. You should just go ahead and leave, but you're not going to do it. You're just going to get arrested here shortly. So, let's sit back and watch that fun show. This road... Then why won't you, know you identify you know yourself? You know what things are? It's a, it's a thing to try and get police to say something that you don't want to hear. Sir, actually... It's just, it's just well, let me educate you a little bit. Thing. I served in the Army, so I'm all about the Constitution. Hey, well, I appreciate your service. I'm talking okay. right now, okay? If okay. that's okay with you, this is... I just want to tell you I appreciate your service. It's I can talk... It's freedom of speech. If freedom of speech. I can talk whenever I, I want. Did, okay. I don't take orders from you. I don't I'm talk when you tell me to talk. Oh, boy, you just keep on racking up the stupid points here. Too bad this is not my Frauditor of the Week video yet. Otherwise, you'd be up there with Katie Kidman. But this man has already told you he's a veteran. And you said earlier that you respect veterans and soldiers. But here you are disrespecting him after he said he was a soldier. So clearly what you said earlier was a damn lie as well. You don't respect anybody but yourself. So let's just get back on with the video so we can watch the arrest. Conversation like a human being, then why don't I don't want to have talk? a conversation. Then what do you want? I want you guys to leave me alone so I can continue working on my you story. Alone. You're standing in our work area. I'm not, I'm not going to leave you alone. I well, call your super, supervisor no, then. She's right here. I am right here. Can you, you got a supervisor? You are you the park? sergeant? You have no business here. I'm I do have business here. What? No, you are here because I you asked want to do you. I said during business, business, business hours. Business you guys are harassing me and bothering me. This is our work area. So you go to the front office right during now. work hours. You came here with your emergency lights, and you're right. lucky I didn't have it on camera. I will determine what an emergency is. And this I'm is an emergency. Business hours. It's business a, hours are eight emergency. to four. Yes. If you have a question for our chief, you can meet him eight to four. I want to talk to the chief right now. He doesn't. It's Saturday. Can you guys call someone higher authority of you? Then why are you guys out here harassing me in your no, parking no, no, no. lot? I'm asking you to question. leave you can ask the, the area. Ask the same is that a lawful you order? Two you seconds. can ask the same question. Two, two seconds for what? Till I get arrested? You can ask for being in public? Times, like what, the sir, what do I have to... Times. Okay, sorry. Can we, can we restart, officer? Oh, I'd love to, but you've been very confrontational. Let's restart right now. I'm not being very confrontational. You interrupt me more than my kids do. I'm done talking to you. I'm going to stand here. You can film me all you want. That's fine. You don't, you don't want to restart. I'm trying to be very nice and polite here, sir. I've tried to restart about how many times? I've asked you. You never asked me to restart. Again. 
Because I've asked your officer for her name 10 times and she wouldn't even tell you me. You don't have to do that. You don't, if you're a police officer, you don't have to tell a Lake citizen Township your name. Lake police officer. You don't have to tell me your name. You can see my name. If you were probably a little bit more cordial, Can I get your badge number? Holy you shit. You don't have to tell me your badge number? I'm done talking to you. Like, again, I don't know why I keep saying I'm done talking to you. I'm done talking to you. Why are you, you still want... here? This is my work area. How... English. Why are you bothering me? English. You obviously understand English, right? Because you're in my... Work Why are you area. bothering me because though? Go do work. work. Go do some work. Go do some work. Go do some work, pig. Uh-oh, retard alert. Retard alert class. Go do some work, pig. Like get out of my face, bro. This is harassment. I'm not going to do that. This is where I work. This is my job. Well, why are you bothering me? Go do something else. Me. Is this what you do? Is the taxpayers dollars? You harass citizens of the United States filming in public? Cuz that's what you're doing right now, dude. You're harassing me, my friend. You came up on me. I'm just here filming. I'm going to get area. back to my business. Am I being detained right now? I'm not at the current moment, but I'm, All right not, gonna, then. I'm not gonna let you go inside her police car. Just sensitive materials. Hey! Sensitive materials in the police Dude, car. why are you screaming gonna... at me? This is public. Then you guys need to get listening. some tinted windows. You're not going to film inside of our police cars. Then yes, you will hey, be sir, detained. Well, actually, I just met, talked to the chief of police of Hillsdale yesterday. Great, and he let me film in all his police cars. You didn't ask though. You didn't schedule. Don't an have to ask. I'm here in public, dude. It doesn't matter. If you arrest me, you're violating my rights. You are not gonna film inside our police cars. You're not gonna do it. Oh, I already did. You gonna arrest me? I'm allowed to be here in public. Call your supervisor right now, dude. He'll tell you I'm allowed to. There she is. Does she know I'm allowed to? to Where's her supervisor? Is she calling somebody? She's the boss today, buddy. Well, I need someone higher than her because you guys you're don't know the law and you don't know the rights. I'm allowed to be here and film in police cars. So you're telling me if I go film in a police car right now, you're gonna put me in handcuffs I'm and arrest me? Not to film inside our police. Well, car. I don't have to listen to you. public property with Lake Township. You have no business to be by our cruisers. So I want you to exit and go back to the park. This is your option. Ma'am, that option. that's that's against the law. You're well, hold on. I, I will okay. To I'm going to leave option. because you're so you're threatening to put me in handcuffs if I don't I, leave the property. I'm telling you because you want to identify yourself. You don't know telling us what business you have here. I don't have to identify this myself. I said I'm in a ma'am, let's can, listen. Can I be very can we have a very professional conversation go. right now? Why can we let me have a professional go. conversation? Go. I'm an independent journalist I'm here working you on a story about police. Back. I don't have is that a lawful order? Why be arrested? Okay, I'm stepping back. I'm stepping back. What do you mean? You're well, done. Well, I'm stepping back. Guys, stop. Stop. I can't. Why? Guys, what, what's done? What the hell? You're, okay, I'm done, I'm done, dude. You're done? Yeah, you're done. I was leading. I was leading. No, you weren't. You said two seconds ago, my camera, what's wrong no. with you guys? I asked you to leave. Oh, I need, yeah. I need medical, I need medical. You can have medical as soon as we get you Why did you guys go to me? Well, because you didn't listen. I was leading. I wanted to be in public. Let go of your now hands. Now I went. Please, don't come back. Please, please stop. I'm sorry, guys. It's oh, my God, guys. It's a lot of apologies now. Guys, I was leading. You just slammed me. You were not leaving. I was talking to people. Not really? Hill. This isn't Hill's You wouldn't identify yourself. I'm allowed to be yourself. here in public. I don't have to identify myself. Let's get up. Let's get up. Dude, why? Let's get up. Well, you guys, what is wrong with you guys, bro? Let me get my phone. Oh my goodness, such a big talker until they put the shiny bracelets on him. And then he was bawling like a little baby. Well, dude, I hope it was worth it.